in the early centuries of Christianity, the season of Lent was observed as a community retreat, an intense and intentional time of yearning. Yearning for a greater sense of oneness, for a deeper and ever more integrated experience of grace, for a fuller and truer incorporation of diversity. During this season, all the things that had accrued and accumulated since the previous Pentecost, all the things that distracted attention from the movement's mission, that created division, and that detracted from the experience of a community of charity and mutual care. All of these were laid aside. Even bishops laid down their croziers. The community was one of equals. The yearning for a greater oneness and fuller wholeness made Lent a season of desire for the kind of life into which the Holy One is always calling us. Prayer, almsgiving, and fasting were undertaken not as penance, but as expressions of this desire and yearning. In this second Lent of Coronatide, this protracted, strange, and difficult season for the whole world, for what do we yearn? What do we desire? What do we want? What are the acceptable fasts? What are the alms we should give? What exhaustions and oppressions and injustices beg to be laid aside, to be dismantled and put to rest. What do we want? What do you want? What do I want? Jesus said, come to me, all you who are struggling hard and carrying heavy loads. So we come with our weariness and our wariness, our weariness with injustice, our weariness with fake news, our weariness with a world that seems determined to be hostile rather than welcoming, our weariness of what it might mean to truly live out our call our awareness of how vulnerable our desire for openness might make us, our awareness of how safe it is to trust where trust has so often been misplaced. Come and find not just rest for your souls, but channels for your rage.
The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. But I do, Lord, I want to be safe. I want to be heard. I want to cry. All these are wants. But the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I want safety, health care. But where do I go to fix a broken heart? I have no money, for I have left everything behind. All I have is in this plastic baggie, a paper and a photo. But the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I'm in the valley, Lord, and the sun hurts my skin. Kiss me, Lord, and quench my thirst. I want water, I want strength, I want shade, yet you remind me that you are my shepherd and I shall not want. If I cannot want anything or anyone else, I want you, Lord. You are my shepherd and I shall not want, and I am your sheep your sheep wanting again.
The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. But I do, Lord. I want to be safe. I want to be heard. I want to cry. All these wants, but the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I want safety, health care. But where do I go to fix a broken heart? I have no money, for I left everything behind. All I have is in this plastic baggie, a paper, and a photo. But the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I'm in the valley, Lord, and this sun hurts my skin. Kiss me, Lord, and quench my thirst. I want water. I want strength. I want shade. Yet you remind me that you are my shepherd, and I shall not want. If I cannot want anything or anyone else, I want you, Lord. You are my shepherd, and I shall not want. And I am your sheep, your sheep wanting again. Let us pray. Because you, O oh Lord, are our shepherd, we want your goodness to fill every valley. For over a year in the valley, we are more than ready for green pastures, still waters, and for the abundance of tables spread to nourish our bodies and souls. In this more than a year's long Lenten journey, we continue to walk through the valley, to pray and to plead through the valley. Comfort us with a hug, with a touch, with voices singing. As if we have to ask, as if you are not already here, but we can't help but ask, walk with us, Jesus. I want Jesus to walk with me through the valley of COVID-19 disparity and inequity. Through the valley of physical distance, through the valley of essential workers taking chances for the good of us all, through the valley of struggling for breath, through the valley of longing and separation, I want Jesus to walk with me through the valley of the shadow of death. Transform our fear of death from the coronavirus pandemic Transform the fear and death born of hatred and the evil of racism and white supremacy. We do not want to be overcome by anything that is not of you, creator God. So we walk together. We walk with Jesus. You, O oh Lord, are indeed our shepherd. Lead us to walk in this world with hearts and feet that know your justice. Amen. May the love that is creating us and the love that is healing us and the love that is sustaining us be in you and with you and through you for your healing and the healing of the world. And the blessing of God, our creator, Christ, our redeemer, and the Holy Spirit, our sustainer, be with you now and always. Amen.